welcome to Casey in the City TV. As you can see, I am in the kitchen today. Now, what have I got going? This bubbling mass right here is one cup full of yellow split peas boiling away. And I'm going to turn down the heat and fan this because if you boil yellow split peas and you ignore it, guess what? It boils over every time. It creates a foam on top of the water and you will have a mess on your hands all, or I should say all over your stove. And you're thinking, why is she boiling? yellow split peas today and why is she scooping the foam off the top of the water and it's magically going down see that it looks gross doesn't it? it looks like somebody spat on your pot but that's a trick my mom taught me if you don't want your split peas to boil over scoop the foam off the water of the surface and you basically just wash it off or throw it out actually okay so guys hi there <laughs> now I am about to make rice and split peas which is a Grenadian at least from what I know it's a Grenadian dish that is extremely popular um, on the Isle of Spice and everything nice <laughs> so it's a very simple dish actually but it's just in the technique so first thing you gotta do get yourself some yellow split peas and these are yellow split peas guys see that they have a beautiful sort of buttery flavor and it is a pea and of course you can see it's called split peas because when you get them, they're literally split in half, right? So you go to the store, you know, most grocery stores have this. I honestly don't know a grocery store that doesn't have yellow split peas. And be careful, this is not um, yellow um, doll, I think it's called. The little teeny weeny, very small pea. This is actually just regular yellow split peas. So you get yourself a bag of that stuff. And you bring it on home. Put it in a colander or a strainer or a bowl and you're going to give it a rinse or two. You'll never rinse it clear unless you want to rinse forever. Just give it a couple of rinses just to get that dust off it, right? Um, which would help reduce the amount of foam you get. And you bring it to a boil in a, a pot of water. And I have about a cup, like a, a full cup here, okay? And then you get yourself hold on let's go over to the sink here i have another um i'm gonna throw this out guys so you can see excuse my dirty dishes I haven't done my dishes yet okay so as you can see in here guys all i have is a about a cup full again of brown rice guys this is totally brown rice I don't eat um, white rice because I don't think it's good for you but if that's your thing and you love white rice this works with right white rice as well okay so I've got my rice rinsed off here and I'm waiting to add it to the split pea now let's go back to the stove when you're making split peas and rice it is a very simple dish to make and is it's a, a delicious side dish and of course very nutritious because you've got protein you've got your carbs in your rice and you've got of course the protein in the peas guys and it's very wholesome thing to do and to cook to eat right but the trick to doing it right is to kind of soften your peas just a little bit before you add the rice because the peas take just a little bit longer than rice to cook and if you try to cook both of them together from scratch you're likely going to end up with mush at least that's the way my mom taught me. That's the way I know everybody that I know who makes this stuff. That's how we do it, guys. Okay? So you boil the peas for a little bit. And you're not boiling it so that it mushes in your hand. If you were to pick up a grain of it and squeeze it, 
all you're doing is just gently taking that absolute rawness out of it and this would only take about oh 10 minutes or so right so bring it to a boil let it simmer for about 10 minutes I wouldn't keep going with the boiling because then you're gonna end up with really soft peas and by the time you add the rice then your peas are gonna be mushy and the rice probably will be too grainy and you don't want that so just boil it a little bit like 10 minutes as you can see it's simmering away right and when we're done that I'll show you the next step so, um, if we go back to the stove so these peas have been boiling for about uh, 10 eh, 12 minutes <laughs> okay so now it's time to add the rice so let's go back over here to the cupboard so you're gonna add the rice in after you've rinsed it off okay and like I said you can use white rice brown rice basmati rice whatever rice as long as it's rice I don't think I'd recommend wild rice because that stuff is hard to, like really hard to cook but I think brown rice or parboiled rice um, white rice should work just fine of course we all know that white rice takes much less time to cook than brown rice so adjust your water based on the type of rice you're using so you're also going to need some onion right there and this is like this was a huge onion so I, I'm only using about oh, a third but if you really love onion put more if you don't use less if you hate onion omit it but you will omit flavor you can cheat and just maybe put um, onion powder if you just want like a broth sort of idea in your rice or you can actually cook the rice and split peas with stock as well um, and you're gonna need butter but in my case I have vegan margarine here and uh, then you're gonna need some salt um, to taste and you can drop a garlic clove in there but I prefer when I'm doing this to just add a touch of garlic powder okay and that is all you need in this dish believe it or not and it will be delicious so the amount of butter you need this much guys watch this I mean you could put more always right but why would you you want to keep your waistline in check <laughs> okay so you drop in some butter whatever butter you want to use okay next we grab our rice okay I'm gonna scrape that when I put the camera down guys can't do that right now but yeah scrape all the rice out of your bowl because when you wash rice it will stick to whatever you've got it in okay now turn up your heat bring this to a boil okay stir it around so everything's mixed together nicely all right next you're gonna put in your um, onion okay I'm lazy I don't want to dirty more dishes so I use the pot lid <laughs> okay stir in your onion next thing you're gonna do you're gonna add some salt to taste now if you're using salty uh, really salty butter or margarine or if you're using and you think well it's got enough salt then don't add salt in my case I just like to add a few shakes I use a salt shaker to minimize the amount of salt that goes into my food. Okay, I think that should do it. Okay. Oh, you guys should smell this. It has a buttery smell. That's the thing I love about yellow split peas. You don't actually have to put butter in it because it naturally has a buttery sort of um, scent and flavor, I find. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is add in some garlic powder. Let me just grab that. Okay, guys, so you just got my garlic powder. And make sure it's not garlic salt. Uh, this is garlic powder, okay? And you just going to need, like, you know, as much as you think you would like. Okay, if you don't like garlic, then you can omit it. But I love the flavor in there. Gives it a certain something something, right? So I'll say about, oh, I just added probably a teaspoon of it, right? Or slightly less than a teaspoon okay guys I don't I don't measure things <laughs> I'm just giving you an eyeball portion but I think it would add up to about a, a teaspoon full okay and you can see it's come to a really good rolling boil and of course you cannot cook rice a rice dish on a rolling boil so you've got to turn it down okay 
So turn it down to low. And I put my, my old fashioned stove right here. I've got it like on a four. And sometimes I'll even go as low almost to a three. You want this just to simmer gently until all the water is completely absorbed and everything is nice and fluffy and delicious. Um, I think it usually takes about oh half an hour for that to happen. So then you just gotta add your lid onto this guys. And that's it. You literally just wait a while. Keep an eye on it. Um, but if you have it on really low heat like I've got, it's not it shouldn't burn. Um, and you can see I should mention that the water comes right above the rice and the peas. Not far up, so it's like double. Okay, so I'd say you need about two cups of water, two and a half cups of water to cook this properly, okay? Now you can always add water, remember, to a, a rice dish like this to finish cooking it, but you can't take water out. So it's better you put um, not enough water than put too much. So if you're not sure, put less, and you can always drizzle some more water into it and let it finish cooking. So I'm just gonna leave this to cook for a while, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done, okay? Hey guys, time to check on the rice. And split peas, and it looks just right. Looks just right. So what you do is you stick your spoon down the bottom. It's dry when it comes back up. It's done. And you want to just give this a stir about, you know, um, to mix up the, uh, you know, fluff it up a little. And that's it. Got my heat off. And guys, I'm telling you, look at that. That. That's a good spoon of rice and split peas. Everything is nice and soft and fluffed and delicious and moist. And guys, give it a try. Rice and split peas. Delish. I'm just going to serve this up with, um, I have this veggie burger patty thingy that I get from Costco because I don't feel like cooking anything else today. Hey. <laughs> yeah, family, so that's it. Simple dish. Easy to cook, goes with anything you want it to go with, um, that would, uh, you know, make sense with rice. You add some more pro protein to this dish, you are um, eating a protein packed meal because you've got the peas, don't forget, in here, right? So I'm going to add my veggie patty uh, burger that I've um, just sauteed on the stove earlier. Um, some cucumber on the side, simple dish, don't want anything else today. I've got to go to a very important event th uh, tonight or this evening. Starts at 7. It's now 5.19. And I'm running out of time, so I'm going to enjoy dinner, guys. And, um, yeah, so the event I'm going, I should talk about just a little, just to um, let you guys know. If you guys live in the uh, Toronto area, um, we, I think it's called the, um, I always forget the name, guys. Global Kingdom Ministries, yeah. There, um, at that building, there is a huge event going on. Probably up to 5,000 more people are attending or can attend to fill up the venue. And it's a huge spirit filled. It's such a blessing, guys, to just hear about, you know, the goodness of God. And, you know, um, this is being held by um, Dr. Mansfield Edwards, who is the. Um, president of the SDA um, Ontario Conference and um, this is a wonderful event so please if you are um, in the Toronto area and you are um, you can get to Scarborough easily it's just um, uh, it's on Markham Road just a little bit south of the uh, 401 as soon as you exit the 401 right there Global Kingdom Ministries building um, it's an amazing, amazing, amazing event. The music is amazing. Different churches all around the GTA are participating. Um, everybody has their own, um, I guess you call it what, the, the, the praise teams are being sent in to do their thing, you know, every night switch it up a bit so everybody gets their chance. And the, the, the sermons that, uh, you know, Dr. Mansfield is presenting, they touch your heart. You know, they, they change your life. 
and it just shows you you know how wonderful it is to 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 know God and to just belong to that family of God right so yeah guys if you want to come out please come on down check it out it's every um, Saturday Sunday Tuesday um, Wednesday and Fridays okay at 7 15 p.m. it starts so um, you don't have to come every night obviously but if you do there are prizes and all that other stuff but anyway the greatest prize you can get from this entire event is basically just feeling the love of God and getting to know more about what it is to be a Christian and what it means to be a Christian in this day and age so if you're there and you see me say hi guys and anyway I'll see you guys try the um, split peas and rice recipe and let me know how it turns out and you can't even see me right now let's see if I can get some light oh my goodness it is so dark like hold on wait a minute hold up no light no light wow there we go oh yeah that improved <laughs> anyway guys so I'm in the car and I'm in the basement garage of my building obviously it's pitch you know it's dark in here anyway I'm up to I'm off to the 2016 hope series I was telling you guys about this amazing spiritual spirit filled wonderful event that's happening at um, um, see I forgot the name again guys anyway whatever the name of the building was that I told you earlier I'm about to go there I'm running about 10 minutes late but that's alright I still get most of it so when I get there maybe I'll just vlog a little bit more so you guys can get an idea of what I'm talking about it is an amazing event I'm enjoying it and I uh, hope you guys can come um, I think it's uh, kingdom kingdom something ministries anywho there goes the memory guys I think I ate too much anyway I'll talk to you guys when I get there so here we go uh, when you think about what's happening in our world today it is true that there are many individuals who are suffering from anxiety and, uh, and, and just deep concern. Uh, there are many individuals who are just concerned about the fact that the world is in turmoil. Uh, thinking men and women tonight are asking questions such as, can we bring the world back under control? Will our world survive the next 10 years? Where can we find safety? Our question some folk ask. Today, refugees are running to and fro in desperation trying to find a place of safety. Tonight, we are in a place where we are very clear that the world is in deep So I traveled on to see Mohammed still wrapped up in his grave clothes but then I journeyed to Precious land, God's own begotten, he was no longer in that grave. i
Joy. 